What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a closer look at the brand new iPad Pro with the new Pencil Pro. I'm gonna have an overhead shot. Before I get into this video, if you're excited for this new iPad drop, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Without any further ado, I know you guys are pretty excited. You're looking forward to seeing what's in the box. I'm actually really excited myself. I haven't seen yet what this looks like. It just came out. I'm super intrigued and I wanna see what this new iPad Pro has to offer. It's apparently a lot thinner, and I also got the version with the nano textured glass. So it's gonna be a different unboxing, a little bit of, kind of a lot of new stuff to look forward to. We also have the Pencil Pro. I heard it's maybe a little bit of a scam. I'm not too sure what to expect from this one, but the iPad Pro, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Also, for all of you who are looking forward to the new iPad Air 13 inch size, kind of the iPad Air Plus, that's what I'm gonna call it. Stick around on the channel. I'm gonna be having a closer look at this one as well. We're gonna be doing covering this on another video, but for this video, we're gonna definitely stick to the iPad Pro. With all that said, let's get to the overhead shot and unbox this. So here we go, guys, we have the iPad Pro over here with the Apple Pencil Pro. I think I'm gonna keep this for afterwards. When I put this to the side, I really wanna jump into this iPad Pro. I don't know, I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. I've heard a lot of, you know, people have mixed feelings about it. Here we go, we have the iPad Pro 13 inch with the one terabyte option. So if you guys wanna get the iPad Pro with the nano texture glass, you do need to unfortunately spec up to one terabyte or two terabytes, which will cost you an extra bit of money. I did spend a little over $3,000 just to clean, just to get this iPad, but let's hope it's worth it. Classic pull tabs, I'm gonna get these off. These are starting to become a lot more easy to take off. This, yeah, these came out really easily. So before we jump into this, quick mention, 13 inch, this is the bigger size. It has the M4 chip and it has one terabyte. You can spec this up all the way to two terabytes if you so wish. So here we go guys, iPad Pro, we're gonna jump into this. Classic unboxing as per usual. This takes a hot minute, but when it's out, it's out and about, oh. Moment of truth, guys. Let's see how thin this thing actually is. Holy cow. Now, they were not lying when they said that this thing was thin. I, it, it's, it's big, but for some reason, I thought it was gonna be, oh my God. I might be just really confused out here, but take a quick look. This is the new camera layout. Little peel here. For those of you who are looking forward to that, I'm gonna take this out right here. Taking a closer look at the new nano texture glass. You can instantly see it. It has kind of this matte finish. I'm gonna put this to the side. So you guys can see here, it has the new nano textured glass. It has a matte finish compared to other iPads or compared to the uh, natural, uh, the regular OLED. This one has this really nice matte finish. It feels a little different. I'm gonna, I can't wait to see how it actually looks and feels. This, holy, now that is a fingerprint magnet. I did not expect that, wow. Oh, that is a little bit disappointing. I'm not sure if anyone has pointed that out on the internet so far, but man, that is a little disappointing. But this is nice. It's a it's a nice big tablet. Have everything is so small and thin, and look at how thin this thing is. I'm gonna get I'm gonna try and get a better close-up shot for you guys, and I'll have another B-roll. It does accumulate dirt and dust pretty fast. So let's turn this thing on and see how this new nano texture glass looks. It already looks very nice. So now if you take a closer look, there's a window behind me and that one's facing directly towards the screen. And you'll guys see here, it definitely fights reflections and all of that pretty well. Obviously we're gonna have to test this out in an outdoor situation, but this is the iPad. It ha I'm trying to see if it has thinner bezels. I'm trying to see if there's anything I can notice right off the bat with it, but there isn't much that I can point out. I do have to admit that this gathers dust and dirt so fast wow that's a little bit disappointing i'm gonna set this up guys and i'll catch you guys in a second so i'm gonna put the ipad to the side here i'm gonna let it set up it's still unbelievably thin i i just I have such a hard time processing how thin that is classic in the box here you'll find your regular ipad stuff it has the ipad pro let's update now real quick oh it comes with a polishing cloth this is new so there <laughs> was this whole gag going on on your net. I saw a color coding cable. I'm very happy about that. We'll get into that in a second, but the iPad Pro, it has some instructions on how to use it. it probably has some of the new features. It talks about all of that stuff. There's three of these papers. That's interesting. iPad, iPad, and it does come with Apple's own polishing cloth. This is very interesting. This is actually kind of nice. I didn't think they were gonna feature this. They didn't think they were gonna give it to us. But I think it makes a lot more sense for them to give you their Apple polishing cloth instead of having you buy it 
You know, they, they charge you $25 for this individual polishing cloth. You have your power brick here that you will need to charge the iPad. This is still a 20 watt charger. Should be enough to charge an iPad. Obviously you would prefer something a little bit more powerful and you have a color coordinated USB-C cable. That's very thin and feels a little cheap. First of all, why is it so short? Second of all, it these are really thin. Everything is super thin about this iPad, but yeah, this cable is not ideal. It's not the best. The nano texture glass is nice. It it doesn't look as bright, as vivid, and as punchy as the regular OLED display, but it definitely does hold up better. It's so much more consistent in any position, in any anywhere the light reflects it. It is by far so much more consistent. So if this is something that, this is a feature that you guys find yourself in need of having, then probably consider getting the nano textured glass. I was a little bit skeptical when I picked this up. I was like, is this, is this gonna be worth it paying that much money just to get the nano textured glass? But it is nice. And you'll, you'll see it here really close if you pay attention, the separation, but it's quite nice. I actually like it a lot. I think it's great. One more time, guys, let's just admire this thinness of the iPad. This is ridiculous. This is so crazy. So while I let this set up, I actually just remembered that we have the Apple Pencil Pro. We're gonna get into the unboxing of this. I, I don't know what to expect from the Apple Pencil Pro. It's like, it's new, but not that new. What What is the iPad Pencil Pro? I'm, I'm confused, but we're gonna have to figure this out. Classic unboxing here. There we go, there's the pen. This designed by Apple in California, Apple Pencil Pro. Apple Pencil Pro right here, take it out. I find it hard to believe that there's much difference to this one. It just says Pencil Pro on it. So if you wanna be one of those guys that just has it to have it, because I know Apple tends to do that, and I know a lot of people tend to like that because Apple does it. It's a question of branding, you know, just because it says Pencil Pro on it, people will buy it and will start to flash around. And be like, look, I have the Pencil Pro, what do you have? I know that's something Apple does. I'm gonna put this to the side. Off the bat, it feels the exact same. There's not much to it, but, so if you lay the iPad flat, the Pencil doesn't move much. I mean, to be fair, they, they can't make this iPad any thinner because if not, the Pencil's gonna be too thick, so it's gonna be, a little bit unfunctional. It's not gonna be ideal for operating, but wow, this thing is crazy thin. It is absolutely ridiculous how thin this thing is. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the iPad has been officially set up and I have to admit straight up as, as someone who doesn't really use their regular iPad, I have the M1 iPad Air with the 11 inch size screen. And I do have to admit that jumping into this one, First of all, the nano texture glass is very nice. I was a little skeptical. I wasn't entirely sure if I was gonna like it, but I really do have to admit, I, I love the consistency of the screen. I love how it looks the same in absolutely every angle. It just holds up against light very well. It's not even the max brightness. This is max brightness. Hopefully it shows really well on camera, but see, it is so consistent with all the lighting and all the flares and glares, it just holds up really well. Now my regular iPad doesn't get much usage due to the simple fact that it's a little small. And I do have to admit that had I had the option, I probably would have gotten an iPad Pro from the beginning. I mean, I wasn't entirely sure. Not only that, I only bought the iPad because I used it for school. So that's why I didn't use it much. And that's why it's also not getting much usage. But I do have to admit that on this one, I think I'll be using this one a lot and I'll definitely be using the drawing and all the artistic features on it. Thanks to the new Apple Pencil Pro, we're gonna be able to just jump into a bunch of new stuff and just create some more art. And I'm looking forward to that. I'm probably gonna be doing a video on that soon on the channel. So with that said guys, this new iPad Pro, not only does it have a familiar size that we've seen before, the 13 inch, which we are pretty ac accommodated to, we saw it on the last generation of the iPad. This one comes with the M4 chip. I'll have to wait and see and test it out. I don't wanna give my opinion too fast or too quickly because I just got it out of the box. This is a first impressions. And it's kind of more like my first initial reaction to the iPad. Now, this is also one of the first iPad Pros that I've handled with a bigger size screen and everything, as I'm not that much of an iPad user, but this time around, I was expecting the refresh from Apple. And not only that, I was looking forward to seeing what they were gonna bring out and what they were gonna offer us with this new iteration of the iPad. But I do have to admit, this iPad Pro is enticing. It is so nice. Not only that, it is incredibly thin. I, I, I really don't know if you can guys if you guys can capture how thin this thing is, but it is razor thin. This thing is impeccable. The craftsmanship on this is actually fantastic. The nano textured glass is something I was a little skeptical at first, but I think just on a first glance, I'm gonna have to jump into it and see how it turn, you know, plays out and how it kind of reacts to like video, media conception, and all of these things. And I will have a detailed video on this iPad very shortly on the channel. But at first impression, it is 
really nice. And I love the consistency of the nano textured glass. It looks great. It is a lot more expensive, so you will have to drop a lot more cash to get this option. But I do have to admit, if you have that cash, if you have the possibility to spend a little bit more on this, I think it's something that can go a long way. I think it's something that you guys might benefit from in the long run. I definitely love it and I would highly recommend it. The Pencil Pro is still to be judged and to be discovered. I know it has a new squeeze feature. I could feel it, I could touch it. We're gonna have to wait and see what that looks like. But I'm gonna be jumping into all of these things in a future video. For a first impression, I have to point out, I'm very impressed by nano texture glass and the thin size of it. it you know, that's kind of how it is with Apple. You know, we will get news, we'll get confirmation that new products come out and then we'll be thinking to ourselves, oh, well, it's just another product. It's just, they have the M4 chip. What, what's new? What's so great about it? But this one, I do have to say, if you are an iPad enthusiast, if you're an iPad user and you avidly use it, then I think this could be a really nice upgrade. I also will be covering the iPad Air the bigger size soon on the channel. That's one that I'm really excited about. And <laughs> actually I might upgrade to that one in the near future. With that said, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give the video a like, stick around. I'm gonna be having a lot more content, a lot more coverage. I will be having an in-depth review on the iPad Pro very shortly on the channel. So with that said, thank you so much for watching another video. If you've enjoyed, go ahead and give the video a like, subscribe. And with that said, I wish you the best of luck in anything you do and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Deuces.